A quick status update on KD Frameworks 5 and Plasma workspaces 2. What we see here um, is a Plasma 2 shell running inside a virtual box uh, virtual machine and this is using the Neon 5 packages which are updated uh, regularly. Um, of course those are highly unstable uh, packages so your mileage may uh, vary in terms of stability and um, whether everything uh, works over here. So let's have a look at a few things that are uh, already working. Um, here we have the desktop. Um, it has settings uh, dialog and the toolbox. Settings dialog uh, is pretty broken right now but um, this is due to it moving uh, to QML. In fact we're uh, moving all the configuration dialogs for widgets uh, to QML which makes it uh, easier, as, easier for us uh, to make them a beautiful, which this one obviously is not, um, but it uh, it makes it uh, a lot smoother, a lot uh, better looking uh, in the future and easy uh, to develop. Let's look at the uh, configuration dialog uh, for the taskbar and you see this is already a lot further along. It uh, nicely uh, uses the oxygen style. So this is actual uh, an actual QML interface um, using the native Qt Quick controls and the oxygen style in Qt5. Okay, let's uh, let's add a widget uh, here. We have a, uh, already a whole bunch of uh, widgets. Some of them are more useful than others, uh, of course. But uh, let's look at a nice example: uh, the shader test. Uh, widget. See it comes up uh, iconified now. Let's, let's make it a bit bigger. And there you, get, there you go. Um, the iconification is because um, the applet is collapsible by default so you can uh, put it in a panel um, and when it has more, more space it will um, give more details. This is uh, now native behavior in uh, Plasma 2. So this widget is an uh, example for uh, for what we can do with the new uh, QML APIs, and it's just uh, one of those things that uh, already work quite well. This session is also running the Qt5 and Frameworks 5 based version uh, of Quinn, and while not everything uh, is working, I can switch uh, windows, get nice previews uh, for them. So this is starting to become uh, really dog foodable, uh, so we can uh, start using uh, the setup for uh, ourselves among the developers and those that are um, that would like to test it. And from there we can go on and uh, fix all the small bugs and performance problems and make it uh, into a real workspace. Let's quickly have a look at uh, console because this is actually one of the applications. Uh, that has already been ported uh, to Frameworks 5. Um, you see it pretty much looks like the 4 version and uh, that is good. The port has been very straightforward. Uh, you see things work as uh, expected and well what do you need more? A console so you can uh, hack on things and compile things and an actual shell to run it on. So it kind of becomes self-sufficient uh, at this point. Finally of course, the proof that uh, this is actually Frameworks 5 and Console 5, you see the version number uh, over here, and the rest is still pretty much uh, the same. Alright, that's it. See you next time.